come back and discuss the electoral potential. We've already discussed what is Daniel said. Let's do this. So in electoral potential, what act, why are we using this term? Now, what did we say? In electrochemical cell, you have two half cells, isn't it? This is one half cell and this is one more half cell. In that, you are going to connect this with salt bridge, which the function of salt bridge we are going to learn. Now, you have one electrode here, anodic compartment, one electrode here, cathodic compartment. This is also connected to the voltmeter. In Daniel cell, this is equal to 1.1 volt. Okay. Now, you are going to dip this in electrolytic solution of the respective, this, if it is zinc, zinc sulfate. If it is copper, copper sulfate. Okay. Whichever, in, in silver, silver nitrate, like that. Now, when you are dipping the electrode into the electrolytic solution, when there is the electrochemical reaction or the, the process starting, there will be a potential difference existing between the electrode and its solution. This potential difference between the electrodes is called. Here there is loss of electron, this is gain of electron. So the potential difference between the electrodes is called electrode potential. Let's write that. Definition. The potential difference between electrodes because they are dipping their own in the solution isn't it between electrodes is called electrode potential so EP, EP the electrode potential can be of two types one is oxidation electrode potential E dot P the other can be reduction E dot P okay done when I have to say oxidation E dot P general reaction if I write I have metal that's in solid form during oxidation, it's going to give out one electron, which are one or two, and this ball becomes N plus N. In the reduction potential, generally, if I have to write M plus N, now this is M1, this is M2, because two different electrodes. It's going to pick up this electron and forms M solid. This is an aqueous, this is an again aqueous solid. Done. Now, these two are your oxidation reduction cells. That means, if I have to write calculate the electrode potential, I am going to use the uh, term or this particular uh, word that is E, capital E stands for electrode potential. If you are introducing E naught here, it will become standard electrode potential. Now, I am going to uh, introduce, okay, let us write, electrode potential is denoted by capital E. Now, I have two electrode potentials, isn't it? Now, let's write. Suppose if I take E oxidation is equal to negative of E reduction. Simple, isn't it? The opposite sign because loss, gain of electrons. So, loss of electrons, gain of electrons. So, this is one concept. Done. Suppose if you are writing the same electrode potential. Now, one more thing. Oxidation occurs where it occurs at? anode reduction occurs at cathode the same thing if i have to further write and st at standard conditions standard electrode potential values what term do i use i'm going to now use not instead of e i'm going to use e naught e naught means standard electrode potential now this e naught value <coughs> is equal to or this is equal to suppose here this is which one let if i take like this this is r h s for me this is l h s for me this is anode this is cathode now remember so standard <laughs> electrode uh, this one e naught cell it's always equal to r h s minus l h s RHS minus LHS. So, this is E naught RHS minus E naught LHS. Now, when I say standard, this which temperature at 25 Kelvin standard conditions. Now, if I have to further write E naught cell, you can write E naught cell is equal to E RHS is what? Cathode. E cathode minus E naught anode. So, this is your E naught cell at standard conditions. Simple. Yeah. We will be doing some numericals also in that. So, uh, remember one important concept. How to write electrode potential. This is how you will represent. This is one formula. This is one more formula where I will be using it as I said in the numericals.